alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays can have some serious health effects on organisms. And the reason for that is because that they are ionising radiation. So ionising means that they actually form ions in cells. So they produce ions by ejecting electrons out of the cells of the organism. So if you produce ions in a cell when you're not meant to, when it's not required, that can have some serious health effects. It can cause cell death. And that cell death can cause uh, radiation burns and radiation sickness. It can also cause mutations. Okay, so it can, it can uh, mutate the DNA in cells. So if it mutates the DNA in our normal body cells, it can cause cancer. Because inside our cells we have these genes that say stop multiplying. Our anti-cancer genes if you like. And if they get um, mutated they're no longer saying stop multiplying and basically cancer is an out of control multi, um, multiplication of cells. So it can cause cancer but um, in that individual. But probably even more of a problem is if it causes mutations of sex cells, the cells that produce sperm or in the eggs, um, then it can actually cause uh, birth defects in the next generation. Okay, so different types of radiation has different effects or different abilities to ionise and therefore different levels of danger. So, for example, our alpha particles have the highest ability to ionise. However, alpha particles, because they're very heavy, they can be stopped by a piece of paper. So they can't penetrate very far. So low penetration. So alpha particles are generally, even though they're high, highly ionising, they're generally pretty safe unless they get ingested. Okay, if they get swallowed, then it's very, very severe. Uh, beta particles, um, have the same ionising ability as gamma. So one beta particle can ionise one atom, it, it ejects one electron. So it's got a low ionising ability, but it can pen penetrate further. It can actually go through your hand. So it can go into uh, your body. But it gets stopped by a thin piece of um, aluminium. And finally, we've got our gamma, which I'm going to actually put up here because I don't think it's going to fit. We've got our gamma, okay? So they're low ionising ability, but they're highly penetrating. It needs to be stopped by lead. So that can definitely get through into your body. Okay, so it really needs to be... Um, it's got a very highly um, penetrating ability. Okay, so different types of uh, radiation have different properties and therefore different health effects, but they can be very, very severe and needs to be taken very seriously.